the view. Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to check it out. We didn't play test this legacy. Leg. Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to check it out. We didn't play test this legacies from Asmodee Games. This is for two plus players. It'll take about one to five minutes to play. It's for ages 13 plus. And this is an ex not an expansion, but a standalone game in the same ilk of we didn't play test this, but it is a legacy game, meaning that each time you play this game, the game will evolve a little bit more with you using a marker and drawing on cards, writing your name on cards, and all sorts of other crazy shenanigans, you know, from we didn't play test this. Is it good though? Let's open it up and I'll tell ya. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what you're inside of We Didn't Playtest This Legacy. So before we get started, I do want to mention I forgot one con that I didn't mention in the con side, and that is the fact that it does not come with its own permanent marker. You have to provide a permanent marker. More of a nitpick than anything, but something I did want to mention. So in We Didn't Playtest This Legacies, you are, well, as the game says, trying to win the game. If you fail to win the game, then you've lost the game. If everyone else has lost the game, well, then you win the game. Yeah, it's a game that doesn't take itself too serious. So in this game, you're going to have two cards in your hand, and then you are going to draw a card, and then you are going to hopefully win the game and try not to lose the game. Uh, generally, the game lasts under five minutes. So we got our handy-dandy little rule sheet. It's one page, double-sided, black and white ink. It's very simple. I can show you how to play right now. Now, also component-wise, you're going to get some additional packs that you will be able to open later on. Now, as you can see, I haven't even opened all of the packs because there's still a lot of gameplay playing this without these extra cards but you'll eventually get to open these packs when preposterous things happens like 15 cards have owners actually that one we should open whoops uh someone recites 100 digits of pi one was like uh if five people are on the internet at the same time so on and so forth honestly we just we open them and add them when we feel like it so we've opened up two of them so far and added to them and we still the game has kept itself being fresh but anywho let's show you how the game is played so each player is going to get two cards, and on your turn, you are going to draw a card like so. Bada boom. Now you may notice, whoops, that there are names on the card and there are things drawn on the cards. What kind of madness in this? Well, it's very simple. If you win a game of this and the last card you play, you get to put your name on it. Why would you want to put your name on the card? Well, that means you are the owner of the card and that card will no longer make you lose the game. So for instance, this one, not on fire, choose one of the following groups. They are not on fire. Boys, girls, kids under 18, blah, 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 blah. Everyone else is on fire, they lose. Uh, so Haley won this card and she's now not on fire, but in the future, if someone plays this card and sets everybody else on fire, Haley is invulnerable to the fire card. Likewise, this is my card. Hooray, magic, place this card in front of any other player. If this card is in front of you at the end of your turn, you are turned into a newt and lose the game. So I don't have to worry about this impacting me. So uh, next, we got red powder juice. You have joined a cult. Due to its tasty beverage, write your name below and place this face up. If any cult member wins or loses, all members win or lose. So high risk, high reward card. But anywho, you're going to play a card out, you're going to do whatever effect it is, and then your turn will be over. Next, someone will also probably get a turn, and most of the time, you might get two or three turns in the game before someone wins the game or everyone loses the game. It's very preposterous, but I'll go ahead and just read out a couple more cards so you can get a feel for how the game works. So, Higgs Bos Boson. Uh, place in front of another player, you now have mass. Any card that would be placed in front of another player is pulled by gravity to you instead. So cards all now go to you. Facebook. Write another player's name on this card and place it face up. They are tagged in this post. If either of you take a picture of this card and post it to Facebook, you both win. Uh, we actually haven't got this one into play yet. Uh, animals. Write an animal in a box. Sheep. Fox, as you can see, have been written in. Place on the table. Each player must make the noise of one of these animals before playing a card on their turn or they lose. Oh, dear God, I really want to be the owner of this card. I hate this card. So annoying. But anywho, uh, very short, simple games. Take one about one to five minutes to play and you try to win the game. That's about it. So that in a nutshell is how you play We Didn't Play Test This Legacy. All right then, We Didn't Play Test This Legacies from Asmodee Games. What are my final thoughts? Because the pros, let's cover the cons. First on the con side, game's not gonna be for everybody for a couple different reasons. If you didn't like We Didn't Play Test This, this is not going to change your mind. The only thing different is now you can add on cards and the game remembers some various different things you did. It's still preposterous. You could still lose on the very first turn or win on the very first turn because you have purple socks or you could lose because you don't know how to speak Spanish or because you talk too fast or if you forget to buy like a sheep or something insane like that if you don't like that this one will not be for you 
Also, this is not the kind of game that you're gonna to wanna to play for a long time. You're not gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna sit down for an hour and a half if we didn't play Tennis Legacy. No, you're probably gonna play two, three games, put it away, then play something else. But you'll be playing it for two or three games pretty much every week. That's what we did. It was routinely like, hey, we're waiting for somebody. How about we bust out, play a couple games of this by the time we got done? You know, maybe just five, 10 minutes and then we're there. So it's a good filler like that. But we're talking about the cons. Also on the con side, if you don't play with the same game group routinely, this is not what I'm going to recommend because half of the fun of this game is winning cards and writing your name on it and writing down inside jokes and all sorts of various different stuff. And if you play with a lot of different people, you'll be like, who's Rick? Why is Rick's name on this card? Oh, he was this guy I played with like a year ago once. Uh, half the fun of this game is being able to play it with the same group. Any other cons I have with the game? No, I mean, if you can get past the fact that the game is incredibly preposterous, then We Didn't Play Taste This Legacies is fantastic for what it is. And this is a really cool idea. This is the perfect, extremely light five to 10 minute filler game for a game night, in my personal opinion. It's gonna have inside jokes. It's, by the time you get done with this, your name's gonna be written on it. You're gonna have gnomes written and hearts written and all sorts of crazy stuff drawn on the cards and things are gonna get stretched out and drawn in. And it's a lot of fun. And also, I like the fact that it doesn't just throw everything at you at first. It has, like, pack by pack that you will slowly get to open. We've probably played about 50 to 100 games of this, and I still haven't opened up all the packs. Uh, another thing I like about it is when you get the packs, they will have various, uh, they have themes to them. So there might, well, I don't want really, to ruin the surprise, but they have themes to the different packs. And as you add them in, you'll start to see how exactly that works, which is very cool. Um, overall, we didn't play Justice Legacy. It's very simple. If you can get past the fact that this game has pretty much no rules and is preposterous and completely random and completely stupid, then you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And that's, that's pretty much the bottom line of this. Uh, so we didn't play Test This Legacies. If you have a routine game group, this is definitely one I recommend you check out. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite super short game. A game that can be played in under five minutes. For me personally, I think it would be... Ooh, that's a tough one. Super short game. You know what? I kind of like Coconuts. If you play Coconuts, just uh, the stripped bare, bare bones version of the game, you can get it done really quickly. Uh, so Coconuts would be my choice. The modified version that I play with my family, at least. But let me know in the comments below what is your favorite under five-minute game. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.